Hello, this is Pamela with Junk Journal Newbies, and I wanted to show you how to make uh, this one particular type of pocket. So the first thing you do is you have your paper. It doesn't matter what size paper you use. This is probably just an 8 by 10. And then you fold it so that there's about that much up, and you do it like that. So it looks like this, okay? Then you take this side and this side, and you tuck that little bit in there. And then you put it down. Now you can leave it like this, or you can cut the top off. Either way, it's fine. Take a little bit of glue, and you're just going to glue a little bit down here to hold this so that it also becomes the pocket, okay? And then like this. And for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this part off, providing I can figure out where I put my knife. There it is. Now I need my scissors. I mean, not my scissors, my ruler. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut it wherever I want. And I'm going to cut it right here. Hopefully this paper will let me cut it right because it's kind of delicate get these with my scrap papers and now i have this so i can have a pocket here a pocket there a pocket there and a pocket there so that's how many one two three four pockets all right so where's my dauber I'm going to ink it. Let's see. Oh, I need to add some water. Spritz of water to wake it up. And then go around. And if you want, you can get these ones a little bit. all the sides because I like to ink but you don't have to ink or you can ink with any color you want actually all right I just learned the other day someone suggested that you store these upside down and that way the ink drains to the top instead of to the bottom so actually when I get a chance I'm going to go around and do that with mine so here we have it now we could decorate it You can decorate it with whatever you want. I just happen to have these, so I think I'm going to put that there. Grab a couple of little pile of things out of here. See if there's something else that looks kind of pretty, but no. Let's see. Maybe one of these will work. I'm grabbing out of this pile right here for now. It's kind of pretty there. Let's see. It's so hard to get off. Okay. I'm going to put this one right here. A little piece right there. I'm just going to cut it off. I should ink over that a little. Okay, now we have that. And then what else do I have? Some other little things. These are kind of cute. I was just looking for a few little little things so that you can tell there's uh, all these different pockets. That's why I'm doing it. So, and we've got 
that one there. I think I'll put one right here. And then, do I have anything else that's kind of small? Oh, that bird might work. Let's do that. Make sure it gets in there underneath of the... And I'll just cut that little piece off. And there you have it. Now you can stick your your things. One here. Let's see, maybe that there. And that in there. So where's my other pocket? Yeah. One, two. Oh, one can go here, actually. Like this. Not that this is what's going to be in here, but I'm just doing this to show you. Okay, and then you've got all these things in your pocket. Okay? And uh, if you are not aware, I have a Facebook channel, Junk Journal Newbies. If I've posted this on another platform, I just wanted to let you know. And then you can stick it in your... In your junk journal. Okay, thank you, and have a good day.